Greetings, everyone. My name is Ettervel, and welcome to my Let's Try of Game Soup, a WarioWare inspired micro game compilation game developed and published by Game Soup LLC. I'll be spending at least 15 minutes on its title, checking out what it has to offer. For full disclosure, I received a key from the developer in order to preview this title. So without further ado, let's begin. Let's see what our first microgame is. This interface seems rather familiar. Maze. So just get to the yarn ball. On the bottom part of the screen there is our timer. Left part is our number of lives left. Oh by the way, by the time this video is published, the game should be available on Steam, which I will link in the description below. Kick. Oh, I thought it would go faster there. Oh need an Undertale reference. I didn't expect to see parodies of games released in the last five years. Ah, uh, classic Zelda, and smashing all those pots for rupees. Mario, but he automatically jumps. I wonder if there's a way to recover hearts over time. Probably at certain milestones. I didn't realize what to do fast enough. This run is going to result in an early demise. Phew, you need to react quickly here. I can foresee this becoming a big problem on the faster modes. I didn't realize that these flowers can shoot back at the zombies. That's a reference to Plants vs. Zombies. Yoshi's Island. Invaders. I wonder if there'll be a trick question version of this level. Oh, I thought you had to rotate this 90 degrees. I thought it wouldn't instantly snap to whichever way you were facing. So here's my first game over as expected. Let's try this again. Also one comment, there are no mouse controls on the menu. Well, there sort of are, but when you left click, it acts the same way as a spacebar. And in order to navigate between the menu options, you must use either the WASA keys, arrow keys, or your controller.
I do like the aesthetic setup of eating all these soup bowls. Oh, whoops. When the tiger lunges at the swordsman is randomized. So a reverse of that earlier challenge with the plants. This time from the side. That cat seems to be the mascot of this game. I suppose this is the gist of this mode, until I unlock some future modes that is. Only one shot needed to kill each zombie. I wonder if the contents of the soup bowl indicate what genre the game is in. I wonder what that's a reference to. This game certainly has a thing for cats of various kinds. Darn, I was hoping that could have been used like a helmet. Oh, it strikes right at the center. I thought it was a little character there. Gradually the levels are getting more complex or harder as well as forcing me to work through them faster. I like how all the deflections are matched with the music. Oh, here's our first boss level, at level 25. So what's our challenge? Okay, so we need to blow them up. Oh, we need to hold down the button. I wish I saw an instruction earlier, but thanks anyways. If one gets through, I'm dead. 
That's usually how it works in these boss minigames. And here's our actual boss. Conquer. Alright, it takes place in a vertical shmup segment now. Yikes, that's a increase in difficulty there. Will I even be able to accomplish this? I did it. That was a close one there. There were at least two or three close calls. There goes Cartridge Cat. I wonder what's the official name of this boss. So this game took place in a ramen shop. And we were essentially playing as that monkey, eating all those bowls of ramen. So that was the base game mode. I didn't expect to complete it here, but I did. If anything, this base mode kind of reminds me of the 4 second series of Flash games on Armor Games. If anything else, it kind of reminds me of the set of unique micro games every character has access to in WarioWare. That is, every character has their own unique set of micro games, until the end that is, with the final boss encounter. Whoops, I didn't mean to go there. Let's go back a bit. Another critique. Every time I go back to the main menu, it resets the position of the window back to the center of the screen. I wish that didn't happen. Fast food mode. Let's see what that has to offer. Marathon mode is essentially endless mode. I wonder if we have any unique boss levels though. Other than the shmup level. Yep, everything starts out twice as fast. It only gets faster from here on out. I'm still waiting for a trick question in one of those dating segments. Not fast enough. I was hoping I could move the mouse outside the monitor. At least the hitboxes here are pixel precise, or look to be at least. I do wish there was more variety in the table setup though.
That was a guess, by the way. Wow, that micro game went by very fast. At least the collision hitbox with the top of the bucket is on the more generous side. Yikes, is it me or is the speed of this game mode increasing much more rapidly compared to the base game mode? I didn't realize we had to do one of those reloads. Darn. I'll give it one more go, then I'll end off this let's try. By this point, you know how the game will work out. And this game is going to be released for an asking price of $3 only. So it is on the cheaper side. I would have liked if there was an on-screen speed multiplier, so you can know how fast the game is going, or at least put it on the final end screen, for instance on endless mode. I'd also like to see if there's a way to play through each micro game individually to practice, and perhaps see the names of each individual micro game and what their inspirations slash references are. Even the hitbox for the apples and snake are a lot more generous, or feel a lot more generous. That was easy. I will say that the graphics are a bit more on the simplistic side, but they do their job and everything feels like it's part of the same game and feels consistent. I didn't expect the marker to go that fast, or accelerate that fast. Neither that tiger lunging at us. I was too cautious there. This game mode is certainly a step up in difficulty, that's for sure. 
It's not just twice as hard. In the end, it can get at least three or four times as hard. I can only imagine how much more difficult the mode after this is. Probably ludicrous speed mode. As I said, I wish there was more stats. Like how many times to complete each level, the names of each level, their inspirations, as well as the ability to play through each level individually to practice. When I say level, I mean microgame. Now, I did enjoy playing through this title, but I suggest playing through this in short bursts. Additionally, this game's longevity isn't that good, although that's offset with its rather low price point. I will say that all the microgames I saw during my playthrough, none of them felt rather out there. I was expecting some more wacky hijinks, similar to WarioWare and the 4 Second series. In short, I found this title to be okay. Nevertheless, I wish the best of luck to the developers, this game has some charm. Well then, thanks for watching and have a nice day. Toodles!